Hello. <laughs> hey guys, Carolyn here. Uh, today I'm doing yet another Target vlog. I, out of the past four weeks of my life, have done three Target vlogs on three Fridays. So today we're doing another Target vlog. Today is one that I'm like very nervous about and more nervous than BTS or Monster X, which are the other two ones I've done recently. I've also done, I think, three others for BTS, so I'll go ahead and link those up above. I should really just do a playlist for Target vlogs at this point. But today I'm looking for NCT 127's new album, Neo Zone. Apparently, I found out a couple days ago, um, they're supposed to be in stock in Target. So I looked up on the website this morning. It said that they were available in Target, and I thought that it meant I kid you not, that woman just sat in her car and texted on her phone and stared at me for like five minutes. Like, I'm just trying to film an intro, okay? Um, so I'm very nervous about it. It says it's in stock at a Target near me. If you guys don't know, if this is your first Target adventure with me, I have a lot of Targets near me. And I thought it was this one, but I was driving through and was like, oh, it's not this Target. But the Target I think they're talking about on the website where it says it's in stock never has K-pop albums. So... I don't know. We're going to try this Target. The other Target's like a two minute drive away. So if it's not here, um, we're going to go ahead and do that. But yeah, let's just go ahead and see if they have the album. I'm obsessed with Kick It, you guys. I think Kick It is so freaking good. And if they don't have this album, I'm going to be so sad because I did not pre-order it because my life is a mess and I just didn't get a chance to pre-order any albums yet this month. So... I just finished paying off all my concert tickets like last paycheck so I'm trying to like chill also bought BTS albums and lots of Monster X albums so I've just been trying to chill for a minute before I spend too much more money but anyways let's go ahead and look at this Target this is my favorite Target hope they don't let me down but when I came here last weekend um I came here to take a thumbnail for my or not last weekend two weekends ago I came here to take a thumbnail for my BTS vlog because I didn't like the thumbnail I made like just at the Target. I didn't even go to this Target for BTS. I went to a different one. I uh, didn't like the thumbnail I had, so I came here to take a thumbnail for that video because this one's closer than the one I ended up at. And they only had version three of BTS and I don't remember them having a ton of Monst. No, they had a lot of Monst X, so I don't know. And I wasn't here for the release of Super M. I don't know if Super M was stocked in Target on release day. Um, but this is the same company as Super M, obviously, because, like, Taeyong and Mark are already signed to that company, and SM works with that company, so, like, why wouldn't they sign 127 to it? Anyways, let's go ahead and see if they're in here, otherwise I'm gonna try the, I keep trying to, like, I keep wanting to say the name of this target, but that's, like, I'm gonna try this target, see what is here, maybe get a matcha latte, too. Also need to pick up some more bubble mailers, so I hope they have bubble mailers here too but otherwise i'll go to staples later but i'd really rather not so let's go see if they have the 127 album um uh, my plan is to buy one copy of each though i'm considering buying two copies of each just to increase my chances of pulling johnny also might want to pull i also might want to collect jungwoo this comeback so i'm not sure but he looks so cute in the music video and i've missed him so much so i don't know maybe we'll collect jungwoo too but let's go ahead and see what this target has to offer us So I didn't see the album in there. They had so many albums in there, but they had a spot set up for the NCT albums, but I did not see them. And they were still unpacking a lot and the employee unpacking in the electronic section looked really annoyed already. So I didn't want to annoy him further. So I'm just gonna run down the street, check that other target. Otherwise we'll come back and I'll suck it up and talk to an employee. But yeah, let's see if the target that says that they're in stock is actually in stock. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, what is this lighting? Okay, I made it to the second target. Um, we're just gonna do a quick peek. What? <laughs> we're just gonna do a quick peek in here. Uh, if they don't, I'm gonna go back and talk to an employee at the other target, or maybe I'll talk to an employee at this target because they should have the album. There is a spot at the other target for it, so I know that they ordered some, and it's only 9.30 in the morning, so like, they're not sold out yet. But anyways, let's do this. that was fun so I went into the target they had k-pop albums and that whole like bookshelf that I took a video of is like 
brand new, but they didn't have a spot set up for NCT. And then I asked an employee who was unpacking things and he, I showed him a picture of the album and he looked at me like I had three heads and said, I have no idea what you're talking about. So I just like, was like, okay, that's fine. And now we're gonna go back to the other target and figure it out. I always waste my time at this target. I don't know why I always come to this target. <laughs> it said it was in stock and the guy had like tons of boxes and he was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, that's fine. So we're just gonna go back to the other target and figure it out where I can point to the spot on the shelf where it's set up. So yes, we're just gonna be an adult and talk to employees today because you know what? You know what? Yeah. All right, I don't have much to say. We're not leaving without this album. Can I just say though that usually during um, Target vlogs, I tweet a lot and I've been off Twitter for probably like three days now and I kind of miss, kind of miss it. I don't know what to do with myself. I just feel very like lonely <laughs> when I'm doing this now. Like it's just me because I can't tweet about it because I'm not on Twitter right now. But I mean, it's been good. So yeah, let's just go see if they have the album. They're gonna have the album. I'm not leaving without it. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna speak to the manager. No, we're not, we're not. Oh my god, do I have a story for you? I haven't vlogged in a little bit, but short version, I got the albums and I also got a soy matcha latte to celebrate because I was stressed and I feel like every Friday I feel like I need a soy matcha latte <laughs> to get through life, so I don't know. I hate this thing, but like, do I ever replace it? No, so I don't know why I complain about it. I bought the album. I am back at that second Target because let me tell you, I went back to the first Target I went to and this really big truck's gonna drive by me. I asked an employee because they still weren't out. So I said, hey, I'm looking for this album. It says you have it in stock. And they, him, the scary guy from earlier, who was actually a very nice person. So I feel really bad at calling him scary earlier, but him and like two other employees went on a hunt for these NCT albums and c they could not find them. The guy like with his little scanner thing scanned it and said, let me check another target for you, which was this one. And he said, there's 11 of each version. I explained the different versions to him. I, he said, there's 11 of each version at the other target. Go over there and see if they have them. And when I left, I was like, oh man, this employee like had no idea what I was talking about. So I was like, okay, I gotta find a different employee to talk to this time. And there was a guy unpacking a ton of boxes when I left and most of them looked electronic, but I couldn't get too close without being creepy. So <laughs> I've become like a pro at like finding the, the boxes that they're unpacking for the day and checking to see what's in them on the outside like label, which is very creepy of me, but we're not gonna talk about it. I went up to this guy, I said, hey, I was just at this Target down the street. They said you had 11 of each of these um, help, <laughs> essentially. And so the guy said, okay, let me go find the box. And he found the box for me and he came over and said, here you go, like here are the two. So then I was like, you know, I was thinking about it when I was driving back here because I was so frustrated that I was like going back and forth in between targets i was like you know i'm just gonna get one copy of each if i can get one copy of each like it's fine but i did end up buying a second set just because i don't know i was so happy to finally have it and i like made up some lie about how these are for my friends but like they're all for me so it's fine don't want to talk about it so watch all the photo cards be exactly the same for this but i'm so happy to have this can we talk about how many employees i have bugged so far in 2020 how many target employees i've bugged so far in 2020 about k-pop albums it's a little a little sad but anyway the other target they think like the box just vanished into thin air like they have no idea where it is so that was pretty sad but i am pretty happy to see that it's easier and easier to find more and more k-pop albums like this wasn't a huge jump buying nct albums because you can buy super m at target like both the targets i went to today had plenty of super m albums and being able to find NCT 127 albums isn't really a huge jump, but I do think it's pretty cool that while I was waiting for all these employees to help me find these NCT albums that I was standing by in the first Target I went to, I was standing by lots of BTS albums, Super M albums, other older BTS albums besides Seven, like Persona and um, Answer and BTS World and then the Monsta X album and that like it's just crazy to think about how far we have come even though I struggled literally so much today I think it's really cool that it's a lot easier I say easier but it's a lot more came out albums have become a lot more accessible in the United States and I love that for us I think that's super cool 
10 years ago because I've been into K-pop 11 years this fall in 2020. I, it will be my 11th year anniversary of being into K-pop and I never would have expected something like this back then. So I think it's super cool. I'm going to go home and unbox these. This took a lot longer than I was expecting. It took me like an hour to do all of this, but I got the album. That's what matters. And I'm going to go unbox these, see what my pulls are. And I'm so excited. I literally love this album. I've been listening to it while driving back and forth and I think it's just so good. And I will continue to buy albums in Target for every group that I support um, and collect because I think it's very important if you do live in the United States to support things like this because that shows that there is a demand for it. Can we also talk about how they only had 11 of each version? So I have four of the 22 albums. They only stocked this Target with 22 albums for release day. That needs to be fixed because Most X I feel like was barely stocked as well on release day and but BTS was obviously like very well stocked like there were lots of BTS albums available on release day. But yeah, I think that that could use some improvement, but you know, I, I'm i happy. Also, when I was checking out with all four of these, I was like, oh, this is gonna be so expensive. Like, I can't believe how much money I've spent to Target in the past four weeks, but they actually were a lot cheaper than seven, which makes sense because seven was very expensive. So yeah, I'm super excited to go home and unbox these now. And I have my matcha latte, so all is good in the world. <laughs> and then I have to do some homework. Next week is spring break for me. And so I need to finish all the projects due this week. And then next week I get a week off and I'm so excited, literally so excited, except my group chat for my group project texted me while I was in that target. And I haven't looked at the message yet because I'm afraid I don't, <laughs> but. NCT albums first, then we'll work on our group project. I've already contributed to this project, so it's not like I'm neglecting it. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this Target vlog. I said in my BTS one, it would be the last one for a while. Obviously that was a lie. So hopefully I will do one of these soon, another one soon. I'm happy to, I hope that we can get like wavy and dream albums in Target too. If I could buy a wavy album in Target, I'd be so happy. <laughs> so that's that's the next goal is wavy. But yeah, 127's American presence is pretty strong along with like Monstex. I'd say they're probably about like the same amount of interactions and everything. I'd love to see Stray Kids here. I know that JYP recently signed Twice with an American company. So I'd love to see some Twice albums in Target. That'd be cool. I don't collect Twice, but if they had an albums in Target, I probably would come look for Twice albums. And yeah, so that is it for this video. A lot of you said in my, I'm doing a giveaway for 30K and a lot of you said in that video in the comment section, cause I've been reading through them a little bit, um, that you love these Target vlogs. So thank you for loving my Target vlogs. And yeah, I hope I can do another one soon. Um, if you bought an NCT album from Target today, let me know how easy it was because this was probably one of the hardest times I've had finding a K-pop album in Target. So let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.